Yeah, 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 no. I would make sure that, yeah, no. Don't worry about it. All right. Last we left off, if I'm remembering correctly, we had talked with the little halfling about, you know, spirits and stuff. Uh, and we also talked to, oh, well, yeah, we almost, <laughs> we retcon uh, killing a, uh, a, bart- uh, a bartender who was beating up his patrons. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, we got that. They stopped. Y'all got out. Y'all got the keys. And y'all are headed y'all's way towards the dock. You, previously, we also have um, Rod talking to the kind of, I guess, the city guard, essentially. The the commander of this area. um, Telling them to post up kind of a perimeter around this area before y'all head and grab the keys. So y'all have that backdrop as well. So heading out there, that's kind of the 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 world you're walking towards is a bit more of a the militia being able to kind of just kind of watching things from a distance. And you'll see the uh fairy house that has been abandoned due to the freeze um on the coast. Uh, and the commander's there. It's like, oh, I'm glad you guys got to, didn't stick around for too many drinks. Um, yeah, we're. Hmm? I w- I wasn't, but now I'm curious. You have <laughs> you have piqued my curiosity, unfortunately. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh well, that that bar can get rowdy, and oh boy, the dragonborn that uh, owns it really knows how to keep them in line. Um, all right, it's us. Us three, you all have take it. We'll gather any stragglers. Um, y'all do as you wish. Let me know what you have in store. No movement. Everything's been perfectly still. We almost think that they're not even there. Uh, a fairy house, yes. Uh, y- y- y'all had a uh, a message. Uh, from the brother y'all killed, saying, I'll meet you here. Mm-hmm. Give me one second, I'll grab something. All right, sorry. There we go. Okay, I couldn't hear out of one ear for a second there. All right. Y'all have got some plans.
will not be able to talk for the first five or so minutes, but I am listening. Can send hockey, the familiar, but not that sneaky myself. Hell yeah. Awesome, awesome. All right, y'all rolling. We'll see where it lands. <laughs> okay. What else? Who else? There we go. There's the launch. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. 17. And then we have your 15. Um, we got to roll on the on hockey. Or are we going to keep hockey there? Are you coming with Cleo? What's the plan? Should have Al stats. Okay. Let us see what we got here. Owl 5e. Stealth is a plus three for an owl. <laughs> Fucked the foul. Fucked it. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that's what happens. <laughs> Roll the nat one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I already put the plus 13 with, with your uh, pass without trace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. Let me... Let me see, let me... Yeah, for real. That's cocked. All right. Um... Cleo, let's see. Oh, you're doing Avery. Oh, there we go. You're rolling. Okay. 557 notifications? Owls get 22 and I got 19. Okay, I rolled for the owl, so we'll dismiss it. <laughs> yeah, we're we're judging you. No, no big deal. <laughs> just, just control right click, red, red, red all. Um. Okay. I rolled for some things. Um. And I'll, you know, that's that's all I can say. Uh, what do y'all do as y'all proceed forward with your stealth checks? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Footprints and footprints. Uh, 
All right. So. Mm -mm -mm. 22, 19. Yeah. And then a, what was that? 17, 15? Yeah, you, you're, you're middle, middle. All right. <laughs> Perceiving, investigating, yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm hmm. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, you do notice that the cabin door, um, as it's locked, unlock. Like a, a padlock was on it, and you see kind of the remainders of it sitting um, kind of dangling from uh, kind of the bracket that it was used on the, I guess, the frame side of everything. Uh, it seems like it's, it's pretty kind of, it's closed, but it seems like the wind would have blown it open. Um, but something is, is causing it to kind of be kept, um, still closed. It's as far as I can give you with your seven. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. Kind of like um, slowly putting pressure until something happens. Okay. Uh, gotcha. As you push on it, um, the howling of the wind... Um, kind of slips between the cracks um, and you start to feel some give and then it kind of the the give that it was giving ha ceases like it's stuck against something you've opened it up a crack enough to put like a hand through but beyond that um, something's causing it to cease opening All right. What? <laughs> Theory, you said something, I think, but all I heard was a bunch of S noises. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm dumb. Not... <laughs> Uh, oh, I oh my brain. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, you come into this uh, cabin. Um. And as you peer through, you see that um, there is some sense of, I guess, lived in here. Um, 
there lies a bit of crumbs from some sort of bread thing. Uh, unsure what exactly it was, but um, it's kind of stuck between the legs of a stool um, near the other side. As you turn around, you kind of see that a dresser has been leaned up against the door. <laughs> All right. The uh the mind thingy. Mhm. Mm Can you give me a, hmm, yeah, roll me an investigation check. Yeah, uh, just the breadcrumbs, that's all you get. All right, as you kind of wind up to push, um, Zach, um, you feel a sharp thud, uh, a sharp pain and a thud to follow in the side of your rib cage. Roll initiative. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you take nine points of damage. Yeah. All right. Um, let's get some things going. I need to roll two. Theater of the mind. It's a paragraph in a thing. And you guys are probably within like 20, 20 foot area in this house. So, so once y'all get that door open, y'all can rush in and do shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Quite. Oh, you weren't? Without you seeing them. Okay. Yeah, I want to... Okay, I appreciate that. I can appreciate that. <laughs> you know what? Uh, not nine or seven, whatever you want. <laughs> 
Aw, oh, look at you. I don't know what you're at right now, but add another point of inspiration. <laughs> And you see um, blood kind of hovering in a kind of a spear-like um, tip as it kind of floats off. Um, yeah. Uh, give me your all's um, your uh, initiative. There you go. The words. Um, No, for for, clar for, for uh, clarity, I would like you're familiar to just go with you. It helps me out so much. That alert, dude, that alert. Okay, Cleo. There you are. <laughs> All right. Mhm. Mm yeah. Currently, you are level two. Uh, y'all aren't. Just Cleo. Yeah. It was. <laughs> It happens. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're leveling up like crazy. We're going to bust through this module so fast. Uh, okay, Cleo, you're up. <laughs> The y'all don't see anything. Um, the door has been uh, pushed open the drawer, um, and there is a floating, um, essentially a spear of blood. Nope. Mm -mm. All right. Uh, I have to roll um, dexterity save. That is a nine on the die. And does not, don't have a plus six to dex. <laughs> How many? Oh, you're saying A, right? Nice. Sir. All right. Oh yeah, you see that uh, you hear a <coughs> uh, coming from beside the this thing of blood, um, and you also see. Oh, hold up! I gotta. I think I do. I'm fairly certain. Um, you see that uh, this Dorgar becomes seen. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> All right. Uh, Zach, you're up. I will do produce flame to attack him. I'm guessing that's a Durgar, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Classic Durgar. Oh, 25 to hit. No hit. We can go with that one fire damage. Mm, so toasty. All right. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> The link is broken. It happens. All right. Uh, Dorgar's turn is going to swing on Cleo. Gosh, I need a, I need a better, better thing. I need. To... Oh my god! Yeah. Okay, that hits. That's an eighteen. Plus six. Wait, did you say twenty four total damage? No, I said eighteen plus six to hit. No, that's that's what I said. It oh. definitely hits. Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, it hits. Yeah. No, I, I really hate people who don't show up, so I'm just killing you right now. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, you take. Double checking Dorgar stats. I think it's I think it's another nine. Double checking that. Uh, uh that's a stat block, not a monster. Not that's not what I meant to say. Uh, okay. Um, you take eight damage. Um, and also, Rod, you also take eight damage from the last thing I told you to take, so add one health to you. I thought it was a plus three to hit for strength bonus, but it was just a plus two. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, all right. Um, that's Duergar's turn. It is now Rod's turn. And it's only, and so far, it's only the one Durgar. Correct. Uh, anything, or, uh, nothing came into um, Cleo's five foot range. You see, saw the sword burst kind of kick up stools and, and a broken table just kind of off to the side. Um, nobody made a noise other than this Durgar. That is what you can tell with what information you have. All right. Well, then it looks like he's getting uh, he's getting a little bit of that old glaive action. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, probably not with a nine. Uh, we'll put hockey's advantage towards you. And oh wait, we already used advantage previously, right? With Zach. I uh, I mean, twenty five was my roll. True. I mean, oh. okay. Wait, how, how do you want me to word it in the future? Just because I said next hit but i, I guess uh just uh, I declare a player uh to to pointedly okay. um figure out who's going to yeah just say a name but you also didn't know i guess rotation so i mean you're first so you could pick anybody and they'd be next <laughs> yeah up to you dm i don't want to uh, yeah call, just so. just uh just declare somebody yeah Essentially say, oh, I want this advantage to go to Zach or to, to Rod. Specifically, yeah. Ah, okay. No. Um, sorry, Rod. Oh, I'll get you for the next one. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, no hit. Also, you know, because if I wasn't a squishy head, I would have said this up front. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but with the, uh, with the miss and the glaive attack, uh, you know, Realizing kind of hard to swipe through the, uh, you know, swipe around the swinging blades of Cleo. Mm -hmm. So Rod is going to edge himself around to the backside, uh, thus flanking with Cleo so that now, regardless, we both have advantage anyway. All right. Sounds good. Oh, true, true. So that'll be for next turn. Bueno, bueno. All right. Cleo, you're up. 
This guy's okay. fine right now, but we'll see how it goes. He's hitting hard. <laughs> I'm actually yeah, rolling I'm enough up. to hit. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, what's that feel like? It feels weird. Uh, it happened during that last session too that I was hitting, and then the that DM was rolling couldn't roll above a seven. So the tape. I think I gave away my curse. We'll find out. <laughs> It's passed on. Yeah, I'm just saying, poor Rod, he either dominates or fails. <laughs> All right. Uh, Cleo, what are you doing? All righty. Um, I can't remember the ruling on this, but uh, was it my bonus action to command it? or I do. Uh, what exactly are you kind of uh, mm-hmm. to command uh, your familiar? Yeah, because I also want to use my second win, so I'm trying to like debate on like seeing which one it'll take what. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm I'm like ninety percent sure I remember that it took a bonus action to command it, but then I like looking at the spell again, and it's like not saying. Oh, okay, wait, wait. Always obeys your command in combat rules. Too. Okay, regardless, I will uh, healing word and I'm going to try to stab it with my rapier with advantage because flanking with. Um... Do your healing word. Sorry, not healing word. Uh, the, the fighter one. Uh... You mean a uh, second win? Yes, that one. You just, Sorry, it's just been said so that. long. Like, no worries. All right, healing word or second wind. Blah. Yeah, like I, I, I'm. All blah. right, seven dim- Dimaggio, or seven health points back. Yes, sorry. Uh, and then the 1d20 plus 4 for rapier. At advantage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that just like ADV at the end? Or? Uh, how did you do this? Well, it depends on what you're using. Are you, using, are you typing it in? Uh, yes. Um, is it KHD? No. It's like keep highest die or keep highest roll. On this, I need to double just, check. I mean, just type it in, hit up, and then just do it again. Yeah, do it again. Ah, 21. 21 hits. Oh, there we go. Today we're gonna be trying- oh, man. Yeah, and the. Uh... Since I use my bonus action, I can't command my familiar, but uh, yeah, end of turn. There you go. Keep highest one. That's what it is. I'm so glad I didn't roll that for anyone in particular. <laughs> oh, God. 19 and 20. It's got a plus 13. No, no, that was for uh, it was sneak. It was plus 13 from last time. I hit the up arrow. So it was from uh, rolling for a uh, Hockey stealth before I saw oh, that you were rolled gotcha. hockey stealth. No more stories. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. So a measly three uh prickle of damage and uh, I guess bandaging wounds. Mm-hmm. Turn. Mm-hmm. All right. Um uh, Zach, you're up. Um You've taken a couple hits now, right? Uh, yeah, I've just I've taken one. Taken one. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Um. Rod took one, and Cleo took one. Cleo just um, second wind, and almost fully. Um, okay. Yeah, I think by missed to one HP right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. No, I'm good. For, I'm good for right now. When Rod falls to a knee and gets back up yelling, that's when he'll need healing. <laughs> Oh, oh, you have that. Okay. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, yeah. 
love that. Too. I will do this and give you the option if you want to use it, which is a hit die. Uh, but I will go ahead and do a wither and bloom on this guy. Mm hmm. Why don't I have this on here? Oh, I mean, if it's damaging him, I will, of course, take, uh, I will, of course, siphon off some of his life force. <laughs> that seems in line with Camelvore, right? Oh, yeah. I don't have it set up, so. It is a d20 plus my spell attack bonus, right? Yes, to uh, you're, you're hitting him with, uh, what are you hitting with? Oh, this wither and blue. Uh, no, it says no, it says it's a con save. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Yeah, let me look. Yeah, make a constitution okay. saving throw. There you go. Oh no, he doesn't. Uh the Duragor does. Yes, yes, yes. I rolled poorly. Because your yours is what? Eight plus your proficiency plus your main spell ability score. Uh, do you see 14? No, yeah, it's right there at the bottom. I'm dumb. All right, why was I trying to do more math? <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't hit. Uh, doesn't save. I rolled half okay. of that. And then it's 2d6. Oh, okay. hold up. I think, if I'm not mistaken, yep. Have advantage against poison spells and illusions. All right, I get one more try. Yeah, I'm, I passed. This a poison spell? This is necrotic. Yeah, this, no, no. this is a necromancy spell. Poison, comma, spells, comma, and illusions. Sorry. Oh. Uh, uh, half as much damage succeeds, so... Three. Sorry. Nope. It was supposed to be 2d6. Four. Yeah. And then, Rod, you can use a uh, hit dice. If you would like. All right. Um, I don't remember what my hit dice are. Uh, 1d10 plus 2. Uh, no, it's just the hit dice. Well, it's oh, is it just the hit dice? It's not the actual con modifier with it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, sorry, it's it's the hit dice plus your spell casting modifier. Ah. Uh -huh. So what's oh. your what's your spell casting modifier? Four. It looks like, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four. All right, I'll take the hit dice. <laughs> uh, that's seven. Yeah. Right. That puts me back almost to full. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right. It's all right. I'm, I'm down to hit dice, so. No, it's... it's <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the fuck this guy's going to do now. <laughs> he, 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 like, did some damage, but then now it's just not looking good. Um, yeah, I said... Yeah, Cleo, we healing. Um, we wheeling and dealing. Uh, we're going to... Attack. Definitely going to attack Zach. Okay, get rid of that healer. Uh, did not hit with an 11. Why are you being a coward? <clears throat> it's just the economical thing. Echo your nomics. What? <laughs> Um, and this guy is going to attempt to run after the attack. Um, you all get opportunities of attack. Uh, okay. Uh, can I? Can this, I? Um, this is why I need my level up. <laughs> I have druid craft as my attack. Can I use that to try to like? Uh, like shoot out a vine and like try to like catch his arm or catch his foot as my attack. Oh, you mean like to grapple? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you'll be doing opposed strength checks. <laughs> we can try that, sure. <laughs> Let's see. Do I still got it? The curse? I don't know. Okay. Maybe. Crazy Let's idea. See. Could I? Help that with my mage and just grabbing his like shirt. <laughs> um, as a, if this is a reaction, I'm gonna say no. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, I rolled a fifteen. Okay, he's got a plus that. 
They're old and 11. <laughs> and I don't really have any modifiers. Uh, yeah, I think the closest I would get was a 14. But yeah, okay. Awesome. Uh, I'll let you pick like what body part I grab uh, the vine lich latches onto. Uh, just like uh, the arm. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Cleo's gonna stab that arm for twenty hit. <laughs> All right. Um, I too am gonna use my reaction for my attack of opportunity. Sounds fair. Good. Uh, advantage, luckily. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. Not lethal. Uh, it doesn't matter. I missed, but oh, okay. With advantage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck. I rolled a nat one and I rolled a fucking <laughs> five, or I rolled a. Uh, Four. Rod is <laughs> nice. Uh, sorry. Rod <laughs> is uh, hot and cold. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Switching to uh, switching to real dice. <laughs> it's my turn. Uh, and Cleo, what was yours? Uh, oh, that hits and that eight damage. Um, was that eight damage non lethal? Yes. Okay. It, he's still up. <laughs> Just like pinning the arm down on the floor. Mm -mm -mm. Gotcha. All right. Well. Yes, you're up, Rod. Yes. Yes. Uh, Rod is going to make sure that he is still flanking. Yeah. Yeah. You can um, maneuver yourself properly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move myself into a position so that I'm still flanking. Um. And then. Probably because he tried to run away, that means I can angrily stare in his face while I do this. Uh, let's see, 15 and 7. So does a 15 hit? Uh, no. Miss, oh, you still, you have advantage. Uh, you missed it very closely. So, uh, not advantage, blah, blah, blah. You have points for your, uh, inspiration. Uh, yes. Uh, I will go ahead and use one of those, so that'll be a D4, right? Yes. Because I just want to hit this son of a bitch right now. Not lacely, of course. Then, look, that's between you and your gods. So <laughs> me and my god are... We need to talk to him. <laughs> he has a letter, I'm sure. Rod can't read it, but he probably has it. <laughs> All right, so uh, 15 plus 3 is 18. Mm -hmm. You only needed one. You're good. You hit him. Outstanding. <laughs> Outstanding. Uh, so that's a D10 plus 3. Where's my D10 at? Uh, let That'll be 10 points of FU. Okay. Um... Because I'm in his face, I will actually, you know, uh, I do have a, I do have a ten foot weapon, but I will actually move up into the five foot range mm -hmm. so that I'm not hitting him with the bladed part of the glaive. I'm hitting him like right where the blade meets the mm -hmm. shaft of the weapon. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect that like right at the, right where his neck meets his shoulder. That nice little meaty little nook. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's like nice where a blade should go. Screw, yeah, yeah. <laughs> screw you, go down part. Yes, yes. All right. Um, knocks out. All right. Oh, he's knocked out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I was really hoping he got out and just gets peppered by arrows. That would. Have, <laughs> that's what I wanted. Uh, okay, you have this guy. Nothing moves around. Um, are y'all? Do y'all like look around to see if there's anything else here, or what do y'all do? Tie him up first. Yeah. Um, yes, Cleo pulls out some rope. Removes the rapier from the arm and uh, starts tying it. All right. Um, Rod is going to grumpily look around. Okay, okay, okay. Here you are. 
Apparently he's too grumpy. <laughs> uh all right. Uh and last but not least, uh Zach, were you saying something? Did you want to do something? Yeah, I was gonna go out the door and like give the captain a signal. I don't know what signal, but I'm assuming that we made a signal. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, probably, I mean, like, what would you do Boy. if you didn't? Like, do you just kind of whistle, you wave a hand in, whatever that would be? Yeah, a whistle. Or if he's looking, watching, then wave him in. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, assuming that tying arms doesn't take too long, um, after that's done, would I be able to, like, just check the room for no more invisible people? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't know if there's a smarter way of doing this, but she'll just, uh, Cleo will walk around with, like, rapier, just wait <laughs> around, just make sure. Like sword bursting every corner of the room, just to make sure. pieces of like furniture just goes flying every now and then, just <laughs> getting pushed away from Cleo's sword burst. Um, and you you don't find anything here. All clear. Just making sure, you know. It's a good idea. Is the captain coming? Or? Yeah, mm-hmm. the the captain comes and he's like, "Oh, well, I guess they don't have much else to do other than sit around and wait." Appreciate it. Um, may we take them in or? Will we be allowed to talk to him when he wakes up? Sure. I mean, if you want to escort him, we can just escort y'all as well. Make sure nothing happens. Um, but yeah. Oh, Captain, what a gentleman. Well, you did all the heavy lifting. Uh, and, and kind of looks kind of at the uh, the the bloodied uh, war pick. But y'all two um, look relatively fine. It was nothing. Smile. All right. Um, but yeah, if you follow me, we can get to we can get there right now. Did the way. Did sorry before we leave. Did mm-hmm. someone who's better at looking around want to <laughs> like oh. make sure there's nothing here? Because Rod was just kind of, like I said, Rod was just kind of angrily, you know, grumpily pacing around. You know, he's mad at himself for his performance and didn't oh. see it. Like, didn't see anything, but was also kind of Perception. obviously not looking well. Perception or investigation? Uh, whatever is your highest. I'm down for you either. Could Cleo also be investigating yes. while sword bursting around the room? Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you what you'll find once I get Cleo's number. All okay, right. One. Um, looking around, Zach, you see um, a couple of letters um, that have uh, that are written in Dorvish. Um, Oh, you know, none of y'all. Do y'all know Dorvish, or was it just nines? I think just nines. Oh, uh, yeah. What a punk. Um, and he's technically uh, here with us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No Dorvish here. Or not Cleo. Oh, hey, hey, guys. I am I'm New Zealand nines. No. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what. Uh, but nines can read it to y'all. So it's just information about... Um, Like sending messages towards that fort y'all came from. Um, and then one that's kind of like a field report to uh, somebody else, uh, a name that you don't, that 
you've heard once, um, and it was from the dead uh, brother of this guy um, saying he this is their father. Uh, the name is Sardarok, and I'll type that out in a bit. Um, Cleo, you find where is it? A map to a a location in the mountains. Mm-hmm. Like portable or like a huge one? Yeah, portable. Yeah, never... This seems useful. Do you show it to us or do you? Mm, hey guys, there's there's a map if you want you want to check it out. But uh, I'll take it with me, and she'll bring it to you guys. Uh, I'll look at it. What is it a map of? Oh, because you're from here. It's a map of the mountains to the south of us, and it seems to be going in a direction of an old abandoned um, dwarven um I want to say like mine slash facility. Um, Is that the sunblight? Mm-hmm. Sunblight. Okay. And I would know that, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Um, sunblight. I see. It has good history. Let's do our Um, what, is there anything specific on the map? Like, um, does it seem to have any markings on it, uh, that a map maker wouldn't have put on there? Mm -hmm, like anything, uh, they made. Um, yeah. the main thing that they, that is very prominent is that path towards the fortress. Um, there is kind of markings in uh, the north and where you guys already, you know, took out the brother. And here, um, talking about there's little notes saying a uh, large amount of resources here. Um, and then there's other markings um, saying uh, not confirmed rumors of of the resource in. Um, Little wood. I think that's what it's called. Uh, I might be saying this this town wrong, to be honest. Boop, 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 boop. Lonely wood. Yes, lonely wool. There we go. And there's no marking of like or notation about what resources. Mm -mm. <laughs> wood my people know enough about what resources are available in those areas? Uh, Lonelywood has a lot of lumber, um, but it doesn't seem like that matches up with East Haven here. Um, and as well as the place they were, you were, y'all were up north, um, where the Mykonids are. Bowman's Cairn. Mm-hmm. They're looking for resources, it seems like. There's something in some light. They imagine there's something in Lonely Wood. But Lonely Wood is just wood. I don't... I don't think that's what they're looking for. There's wood up in the mountains as well. I mean, maybe there's something in the wood. You mean a specific type of wood? Or, I mean, a specific type of wood, something in the woods itself. Uh... Their father seems to be very important to them. They keep mentioning it. I wonder if it's a key. Well, I mean, if it's some type of family enterprise, then, uh, you know, paterfamilias and all that. I don't remember. Did um, did I recognize the name or? Uh... No. no. 
No, this first name is is new. You you you've heard of the rumors that they're that they're moving up there. You just know that they're not the original inhabitants. It's been like uh almost like seventy years or so since last time it, this that place was inhabited. Up in the mountains. Mm-hmm. They sure have been busy. Let's make sure we grab all the letters. And yes, take this map. Cool. Okay. Do you want to hold on to it? That's fine. We can. Okay. Let's keep the letters with it as well. And she'll hand you the letters so that way it all stays together. Gotcha. Or any of the paperwork, I think. And then uh, at some point she'll want to take it back and maybe look it over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Clay will just stuff them in her bag. All right. Anything next? Moving on. Staying here. Go back to town. I thought it's all right with everyone else. Since, uh... That's what we found. All right. Y'all head back to town and go to the jail. Um, as y'all walk forward uh, throughout the town, um, you kind of smell the last uh, embers and burnt uh, meat and wood from the, the burning of the wizard. Um, and y'all head into the, um, the jail. Um, they throw him into the cell, um, close it up, and Captain Species, you're like, well, I do appreciate your assistance here. Um, it seems to, uh, we've been having a bit more activity than usual, and it's beyond my normal militia's duty, but we appreciate every help we can. The Duragar have taken residence at Sunlight. Up in the mountains. Do you know of it? I've heard of it, but um not not one to go travel. We we we're busy with this frost. It is it's biting. Exactly. I mean, Zerkar have been quite busy. They've re-inhabited, or they've inhabited some light. Mm -hmm. They took up position in Kelvin's cairn. They're here. Kind of scrunches the nose. What's in Kelvin's care? Well, they made a fort for us. For y'all? Yes. Well, yeah. it wasn't for us, but... <laughs> yeah, it's now, it's, it's now Care Mushroom. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, interesting. That's... They are getting busy. They they know something that we don't. So let's see if we, we can... See if we can squeeze out of this guy. Um, y'all... Y'all see uh, a bit of stirring from uh, the jail cell uh, as this Duergar um, awakes. Uh, can't believe I was bested by y'all. What a bunch of surface walkers want. Quite easy to underestimate us. Yeah, most of y'all just die on a hit. And how many you hits did would hit it take? pretty hard. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> how many hits would it take to kill Zardok? <laughs> oh, not even any any Dogar knows that, but. 
hell of a lot more. Um, you see that he, as he kind of like wriggles up to get his back against uh, a wall. He goes, <sighs> Why well, are you going after the old man next? Mostly I'm curious about his resources that he's gathering. On the to-do list. <sighs> well, soon we won't be able to stop him. What's he trying to do? Huh. Bring back glory to the sun blights. Ow. Uh, making the surface, well, a lot less inhabited. Where the Durgar? Where the Durgar? Well, where? What? No. Are the Durgar the ones um, creating this frost? Oh, no. That's just circumstantial to what's been going on here. We have no worry about what happens in freezes of the surface. Once we get what we need, we'll be golden. We'll be back in glorious power. And what is it you need? Well, what time is it? It's time to answer the damn question. <laughs> well, I can't <laughs> answer you if I don't know the time. Uh, Rod is going to uh, growl at him uh, in an intimidation attack. Okay. Oh, that is a nat 20 plus 4. <sighs> Noise. Uh, you growl. Um... And his smugness kind of turns and just like he starts to kind of like his scut hurts and he just like keels over a little bit, not dead, but just like uh, like a, a reminiscent of the battle. And he goes, <clears throat> Well, I, I guess, um, <clears throat> what was the question? I grow tired of cryptic answers. It makes my head hurt, and I don't like it when my head hurts. Okay, okay. So, what are you gathering? What is the plan? Uh, the black shards. The black shards? Yeah. And why do you need the black shards? What is your use with them? It brings back uh, an ancient power. Do you know what this power is? It, it breathes flames that don't burn like fire does. It stings, it, it rips. And that power will be, and you see his, his, his voice shaking. Um, yes. I want to see it. That's what we've been working for. <laughs> Well, if you survive the lottery in a couple of days, you might be able to see it from this cell. Not a bad town to get the lottery. Uh, Rod kind of looks at the other two like, uh, but uh, y'all have anything else you need to ask him? I think we've got what he's good for. Um, Are there any more Durgar coming here? Uh, be more specific. For this town. Well, no, no additional Durgar. Are there any others still here? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Depending on how much of a show you put on. Also, also and, and, and don't get mad. 
What time is it? <laughs> I think they have something planned. Uh, Rod gives him the time. Uh, well, I, I didn't, I don't, I don't know if you're a part of the militia or not, but if y'all are here, well, that means the town, the town hall is not being guarded as heavily. And what's He's going on in at a the cell. town hall? Oh, well. He's tied up in a cell or something, right? He's contained. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Zach turns and runs to the captain, wherever he's at. Uh, captain is like doing paperwork or something, like nearby. I'm sorry, what building did he say is not being protected? The town hall. Okay. I'll go to the captain. The town hall. Is it being guarded right now? And that always is. Is it being maximum guarded on? Um, or minimal? Well, we took resources to take care of this. Send them there. I think something's about to happen. Okay. Uh Sure, sure, sure. Uh, and you see him kind of get up from his desk and and kind of like step out, run upstairs. Um, what were you saying, Rod? Uh, Rod was asking what's going to happen at the town hall. Well, they were going to auction off some sort of uh, mast. Um, purely made of the stuff we need. That's what my... I, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> he's afraid to use the word boys in a very like connected way because he's still fierce rod <laughs> uh my uh brethren <laughs> um they they went to go do that and i was just holding down the fort a mask a mast yes. like mast. a like a for a boat yes 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 thank you A mast made out of that material. Yeah, it was a piece of decoration. It was adorned. Had the image of a like, bull. Y'all feel like crashing an auction? I guess we better. Sounds like fun. All right, you all run up to. Uh, hmm. I am gonna make sure that, like, if he's in a cell, like the cell door is actually like locked. All right, yeah. Uh, and then we'll leave. as we walk out, Rod is gonna look at the uh, guard and say, uh, "That dude can turn invisible. So if the cell looks empty, don't believe it. Just shoot some smoke in there or something." All right, I appreciate it. Uh... I make sure it doesn't disappear on us. I keep somebody with the eyes on. Um, it's like some of these like younger guards, because the other ones ran to the uh, the uh, town hall. All right, do the town hall. Y'all head to the town hall, um, and you see that um, the captain's kind of as you burst through the door. The captain's standing there. Uh, talking with like two other guards. Um, and he goes, It's, uh, well, it's too late. Um, and then he kind of points through uh, a pair of double doors, and you see like two guards dead lying on the ground, and the, uh, the mass just was obliterated with like a hammer or something. Um, it's now just a regular old piece of a hunk of junk, not a master craftsmanship anymore. How big was the mast? Oh, it was in the shape of a bull. Was it like three feet or 15 or 10? 
So it was 10 feet, and then they broke it up into chunks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's still some... Um, you, you still see some there, but just the, essentially it was like whatever they could get and ran. ran. Uh, Cleo, can your owl go out and try to find somebody running away carrying chunks of rock? Good idea. Um, hockey does that. All right. No, the mast in full form is 10 feet long. How, like, what's the... Width? Yeah, like, how big? Like, All right, like, 10 feet tall. Diameter? And then broad-wise, it was, like, like, four feet. And it had the figure head of a bull. They just. And they took like big chunks of this. From what you can tell. The only thing you see now is a broken up like block of these shards just kind of strewn ac across the floor. They took this gigantic thing. It can't be easy, even if they cut it up. It's still a lot to have to move. Well, remember when we were at Carabushroom and one of them was big? Maybe they maybe they brought one of the big ones. That should have helped with the carry capacity. Perhaps. Hmm. It just means that it's easier to find. Roll, go ahead and roll me hockey. Uh hockey stats for whatever you want hockey stats what the fuck uh, yeah. uh just roll me Does either perception or? An, or, or investigation whatever you want to roll for hockey so it's a plus four uh... all right not bad. All right. Um, you, as you go, as you all discuss this further about like what could have possibly happened, where they are, um, hockey returns to Cleo. Um, and Cleo, uh, he's trying to like motion y'all to outside. What is yeah, it, Hockey? Uh, is Timmy stuck in the well? Bro, bro. <laughs> I don't know we should go check that out. I, I think hawks are more like screeching animals, but I don't want to screech at fucking 1030. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair enough. Uh, okay. You go outside and uh, with a wing uh, points in the direction of the mountain. Looks like that map will come in handy. You said he points toward south towards the mountain. Mm -hmm. They're moving that fast. Um, they saw that. Um, what's it called? The the tracks led that way. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, like, they're trying to get out of town. They might. They still might be here, but the tracks were leading that way. Um, hockey kind of puts. Um, kind of like steps a little, kind of does a little shuffle on your uh, shoulder and then just like with one of its talents just kind of like pats you real like tough and it's kind of like showing you like it's a, like a big track. Big tracks. Uh, we should follow it, right? I guess we're going to go to Sunblight. Only if we're too slow to catch them before they get out of town. I think we're going there either way. Let's do it. All right. I want y'all... Y'all don't have a choice in this one. Y'all have must roll investigation check as y'all approach the first set of tracks. Fifteen. 
An investigation? Mm-hmm. 23. Nice. Nice. Ooh. Hmm. With an AO2 still. Nice. Y'all are able to follow the tracks as they approach one of the southern walls, um, not near any checkpoints, but you see that um, it just kind of ends there. Um, but you can see above on the walls that there's like uh, snow that has been kicked off and movement has been as they've kind of like either like been thrown across or placed up there or something. But there has definitely been movement over this wall. Um, this wall is like f 15 feet up. What do y'all do? I said 15 feet. Mm hmm. All right, so how tall is everybody else? Uh, she's probably like five seven, five eight. Yeah, a little shorter than that. Okay. Are you all stacking, <laughs> stacking the characters? Well, no, I mean it's because yeah, it's because you know Rod's like, yeah, you know, what we say Rod was like six foot six one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, which means that realistically, I could get another. Two to three feet on arms. Mm -hmm. So I'm fairly confident in like famous last words. I'm fairly confident <laughs> in my athletic self over. Mm -hmm. So if I could help get these guys to the top of the wall, just mm -hmm. throw nines up there and give them the rope. I'm nines. Oh. <laughs> I mean, also, you know, also a technique. I have no agency. Throw me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So plus five to my athletics. Ah, uh, that's only a seven. Slams the nines against the wall. Boom. <laughs> Take two. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There we go. That's a 25, not 20. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> Uh, perfectly gets them up there. Uh, and uh, lets down a rope for y'all. By the way, we definitely need to give Nines uh, the vote for this session, just for <laughs> being the team football. JG's going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, it's like, how did I win? I wasn't even there. <laughs> He's gonna win the uh, last one too, right? Oh no, it's, it's just it's, it's not winning. It's just like getting points towards something. But yeah, yeah, it's funny. Um, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all make it over the wall with the assistance of football nines and Rod, um, quarterback breaker, um, and uh, yeah. Y'all, y'all do that with ease with the assistance of the rope. Um, y'all make it to the other side. Um, the tracks, you see that there is um, not the, the big one's not there anymore. Um, but you do see an extra pair of uh, smaller feet, or same size as everybody else. We don't see anything around us. Um, no, the uh, the snow is kind of covering things in front, but y'all can still kind of follow the tracks as they are still fresh enough. Uh, Leo, do you mind send, sending hockey out again to see if uh, like how far ahead they are while we try to play catch up? Yeah, don't mind. All right. Go hockey. Uh, as hockey goes out, I want y'all, as y'all kind of venture forward until hockey kind of finds them, um, to roll me a survival check. All of us? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. 16. Nice. Clear. Seven. Um, 
Hockey returns, and they are only two hundred feet, um, and like ahead of y'all. But the the snow is uh getting thick. Uh, Rod, you can pursue. Um, but Zach, and Cleo, it's it's getting rough. You're sinking in. You're not finding your placement at foot. It seems like danger will happen. Uh, if you'll fail another roll like this. Um, can I attempt mm -hmm. to be... Basically, I want to try to be a snowplow as I truck through, as I truck through the snow. That way I can give them a little bit of an easier path. All right. I want you to roll me... Mm, do you what do you think strength or do you have anything else in mind strength slash athletics sorry uh, uh yeah no i was i was thinking i was thinking athletic all right um just because this is yeah yeah this is just a straight strength yeah no go for it uh, roll me that dc's pretty high but it'll allow you to continue on with your friends uh, unfortunately, uh, Rod, being from Neverwinter, is not used to <laughs> always winner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that was a 10 total. Uh, so, um, oh. You move forward a bit, but the cold oh. is starting to seep into your bones. Um, it is not... Do go, you're not going fast, um, and you are helping them, but it's just not going at a good rate. Uh, you are just kind of freezing now uh no conditions okay. no nothing like that yeah you're, uh, you're I think, wearing metal right yeah of course uh, i think after oh. i think after like are you gonna heat metal feet, i think after i don't like have heat metal oh. but i do have the produce flame mm -hmm. so it's not as strong as heat metal but i was thinking along the lines of like warming up his metal i like that Roll me another um, athletics again. Okay. Because of that. Uh, that will be a 19 for that one. All right. Yeah. Uh, you're able All to right. pursue on. All right. After a, after a quick breather and a little bit of a uh, little bit of fighting this white bullshit with its arch nemesis. <laughs> Yeah, it's like uh, you know, running warm water on a spoon as you try to dip out uh, ice cream, essentially. <laughs> Wait, that works. Yes. Yes. What did I learn? <laughs> um, work in a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It, well, yeah, like, and they also just have the tap running mm -hmm. forever. <laughs> Um, okay. Y'all aren't able to get close. I, I want to know what y'all's opinion on this. What, what do you exactly want to do with, uh, when you get close enough to them? Do you want to scout it out? Do you want to attack them? Do you want to set something up? I could scout through hockey's eyes, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but Cleo suggests that, but also leaves other options on the table. All right. I, I like that idea of hockey scouting. All right. So then we know what is a bad us. Cool. Two votes for that. <laughs> uh, Rod is all for anything because, you know, otherwise it's the old Rod Breaker standby of a vest. Yeah, then hockey will go out and uh, do some scouting. I, I believe I go blind. Mm -hmm. Yes. My yeah. sight, but... You can be behind me, just put your arms, like, put your hands on my shoulders, and just... Put oh. your hand on my shoulder. <laughs> okay, I'll do that, uh, as the music ominously... <laughs> <laughs> um, you Let go through... Let me guide you through... The snow. snow. <laughs> um, as you look through hockey's eyes, um, you see 
three duogars trudging through the snow um, with large pieces of this black shard, like a roped to their back, um, like in backpacks, but it's just kind of like the largest chunks are just spilling out. Um, and the, their, their hands are full. Uh, they start speaking and you, they just in like a very angry tone um, to each other. Um, but yeah, there's only three of them. Yeah, it says I'm blind and deaf on the spell, but not mute. So Correct. I can come do this, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, three, three of them are bad. Um, I don't know. Is is that scary enough for us? Like we we took out that other guy pretty easily. Do you think Rod? Do you think the four of us could take care of it? I think. Uh, I think we can take three. The uh, so the key to any fight like this is. Surprise. Well, I was going to say extreme violence, but um, no, the key to any fight like this is, uh, you know, that's you, that's some, you. So, somebody try to finish their fight quickly so that we can get that two to one and then that, that three to one. Yeah. Do you have something that can make it a quick fight? Yes, I think this is uh, this is not the time to be. Cheap with. Uh, spells, I do have nines as character sheet. OK, so I was checking to see if you had it elsewhere. So if time you'll... wise, though, yeah, um... time wise, we're probably not going to get to it today. Yeah, but we could roll initiative preemptively. Just to have that uh, on, or just we no. can wait till. Yeah, I would say I would say let's just wait. Yeah, because yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be two weeks before we get to it, and who knows what we remember? We're like, I don't even know what this initiative is. <laughs> remember what I had from Dairy Queen, so you know. <laughs> we'll also maybe have nines back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have what? Have nines back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, rarely JJ misses. So this is. Oh yeah, he's working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... But uh, yeah, I guess we'll wrap it up here right before we jump into it. That way we have we can see if JJ's here next the following weekend. Um, I will end. I'll move off to offline. Right, yeah, that's the right time. Okay.